Hey guys, it's Karen from Art by Karen e. Haley. Um, this video is a um, first part of several parts of a commission that a YouTuber named Twig Crescent commissioned from me um, way back in February. It took a long time to complete. Um, uh, all of the characters are um, Twig Crescent's intellectual in, uh, property. They are his own OCs. They are part of a story that he is writing, um, and the story is called Protector Chronicles. And this piece is kind of like a cover art type of piece. Um, it took 24 hours in total, and um, it would have been way too long to put into one speed paint. Uh, keep in mind, I did do this while live streaming, so some of that time was spent chatting with viewers and showing stuff to them. Um, and asking questions to Twig Crescent because he was there and I wanted to make sure I did the commission um, the way he wanted it to be done. Um, uh, you might see some random clips, like earlier there was the cat running clip. Um, and when I was doing the live stream, everyone was making fun of my uh, Santa Claus pencil. <laughs> Um, anyway, the whole piece sped up, uh, 32 times the original speed would have been a 50 minute long video. Um, so for that reason, I wanted to take the opportunity now to make this a step-by-step -step how to for a large piece. Um, when I say large, I mean that there are 18, uh, yeah, that's right. 18 characters in this image. That's a lot of characters. I don't know about you, but I don't do... Um, drawings typically with that many characters in it, so composition was a huge part of the process um, with starting the sketch out. You can see on the um, left side of the screen there was a sheet of paper that I had and that had all my thumbnails on it. Um, when I started thumbnail sketches I researched several book covers and um, a couple books that had layout suggestions in them. Um, and I kind of settled on a layout that has an um, elevated viewpoint that shows everyone. Um, this is often called a fighter or sports team type layout because of the large amount of characters that those stories have. Um, I do have a couple books that I would recommend. And I will put uh, the ISBN links to those books down below. Um, they are from the How to Draw Manga series, I think. Um, but anyway, I'll talk more about those in the description. Um, anyway, I originally placed everyone a little too far apart in the first thumbnail, so I settled on the second one that I did. The main character's sword was pointing outward and up originally, also, and I did draw the back the last three people large in the beginning, um, but I did erase them, like you see here, and I'm redrawing them because I thought that they were the villains in the story, but they're actually just um, characters that do bad things. They're not the main nemesises, the nemeses in the story. Um, so I relocated his sword to make room for the um, girls behind him because they are his sisters and they're kind of like the main trio in the story. They're triplets. Um, but I won't give away everything about the story because, well, first off, I don't know the whole story. And, um, it's Twig Crescent's story. So, anyways, um, when I planned out the layout, I really tried to pay attention to the relationships and personalities of the characters. Um, so communicating with Twig Crescent, uh, was so important in this piece, especially since there weren't reference images to start off with, only, um, written descriptions. Uh, and because of that, I took the time to make some simple ref sheets for all the characters. Um, the time for those actually wasn't included in the time for this drawing. Um, I probably spent maybe 45 minutes on each one, and there are 18 characters, so if you want to do the math, go right ahead. I don't have time to do it right now. Um, but I did all those ref sheets because if I forgot what someone looked like, I could glance at their sheet. And you saw me doing that a lot earlier in the video. Um, the ref sheets were time consuming to make, but they were fun. And, um, so I think that if I start doing, um, commissions for stories, I will definitely do ref sheets because they're so irreplaceable when you need to 
when you're working on something really complicated, um, they help out a lot. Um, oh, here you see me kind of detailing everything with a mechanical pencil. I started off with a regular pencil, and then I came back over everything with a, a couple mechanical pencils. The first one that I went over everything with was a point seven, and um, then I'm coming back over here with a um, point five lead. And this pencil I also use when I'm using um, pencil outlines instead of ink for line work because it's so detailed that if it gets under the Copic marker it doesn't really um, look as bad because it's easier to um, keep it clean with a little mechanical pencil like this. Um, anyway, um, oh and the reason there's such a large margin is because I um, add fog in later so um, I don't finish parts of the characters because later in the drawing you'll see that I add fog into the piece and drawing all of the characters' body parts, um, while I did sketch them, you cannot see them because I sketched them really lightly. <laughs> um, but I, I try to keep those light because when I go over it with Copic markers, you won't have to see pencil lines underneath the marker work. Um, let's see. All of these characters have such great... Um, differences in personality and it I really want to read the story after working on this so whenever he finishes it up um, I would love to read the story uh, and I kind of I feel like I know all of the characters personally after talking to Twig Crescent and Twig Crescent is a really great commissioner um, and I I always I get a lot of commissions from him and it's really nice um, to work with someone that's so detailed with what they want, it makes it a lot easier for me. It takes the guesswork out of out of doing things. It does take a little time. Um, oh, those were the books I was talking about. It does take a little extra time um, to make everything exactly the way he wants it. But I feel a lot better knowing that he's happy with what he got. And um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I consider him to be a friend, even though I don't know him personally. Um, like, I've never met him in person, is what I mean to say. Um, but, what was I doing? What was I talking about? Anyway, I don't know. I just wanted to thank Twig Crescent for commissioning me, and um, I want to apologize for the long wait that it's taken to do this one and the other piece that he commissioned in April. Um, I'm sending everything out this Friday, and, uh, if you want to check him out, he is Twig Crescent on YouTube, like I said earlier, and I'll leave his link in the description below, um, as well as some links to commissions by other people. Um, come back in a little bit for part two of the line art and the skin, and, um, leave a fave, a like, a subscribe, and, uh, I will see you guys in the next clip. And uh, have a great afternoon.